All right, let's bring this to life. Let's give it some color. Let's be use let's use gradients. Let's go to fill. Select a gradient. Let's go to gradient options. Let's not leave it like this. Let's give it a nice nice color. So I'm going to double click this one. Uh let's go with a I'm going to go with a um like a grayish silver tint. So I'm going to be using again you can use either one of these. I'm going to use the the color sliders here just so it gives us a little bit more options um so not entirely black i'm gonna leave this like at what is it 70 i'm gonna leave this at 75 i'm just gonna bring the cyan which is like a blue tint i'm just gonna bring in a little bit there we go cool now i'm gonna go with the black one let's do this one a little bit darker i go with it 90 and then a little bit more the cyan perfect okay you know what let's bring this a little bit lighter let's go with let's see how there we go let's go to 50 just to give us a nice round number 50 is great okay and i'm gonna move the angle i'm gonna move this to 90 degrees because i want it to be dark at the top like if the light is shining from the bottom Okay, I like that. Cool. All right, let's keep doing that for all of these. I'm going to select this one right here. Now we could go to fill. We could do the whole gradient thing to match up this one. That would take us a bit of time to try to match them in between. So instead of doing all of that, select the one you want. And if what you want is exactly like something else, then you could just go to the eyedropper tool right here. Click it. While this one is selected, click the other shape that has the same attributes you want this one to have. So I'm going to click it and notice how it gave us the exact same thing. Let's change the angle of the gradient. That's the only thing that it didn't copy. I'm going to go with the 90 degrees. Perfect. See? Exactly same thing. Let's keep doing that. Let's go with the face right up here. Uh, eyedropper tool. Click this one, change the gradient angle to 90 degrees, and it's looking, it's looking awesome. Let's keep doing that for the rest now. All right, now let's give the other pieces some color. Let's start off with this one right here. Let's make this something that pops. Let's go with a let's go with a blue. I'm going to go with a blue. So let's go to fill. Uh I'm gonna, I'm going to do a gradient, gradient options. Um hmm. Double click here. I'm going to start off with a very bright blue. And um should we go with a dark blue here? Okay, that looks good. I change this one to 90 degrees. How's that looking? Nice. I'm going to do the same. Let's do the same thing with these right here. Hold shift so I can select both of them. Oh, make sure that you click on the specific one so that we don't get other shapes that we don't want. Let's go to eyedropper. Let's do the same thing. Boom. Love that eyedropper. Easy. Change it to 90. Nice. All right, now let's give this, these claws some color. Click it. Let's go fill, gradient, gradient options. Uh, let's see, what should we do with this one? Let's give this further right slider a red. Go with a very bright red. And uh, let's keep this one. I'm going to keep this one white. But I'm going to add another one about right here. See how the arrow changes to a plus sign? Right here, click it, and it gives you another slider. Double click it. I'm going to give it the same red as this one. See how it's fading in? I'm going to change it to 90 degrees. And now I'm just going to mess with this till I get something that I like. Uh, you can also switch here the midpoint up here. So find something that that you're comfortable with. How about that? Let's do that. 
I'm going to keep it right there. Let's see how that looks like. Awesome. I like how that looks. It looks like light is shining on it. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Let's select this one. Again, eyedropper tool so that we just get the attributes from the other one. Change the, uh, the gradient angle. Let's go with a 90 degrees. Awesome. Perfect. All right, so far so good. Let's keep moving up. All right, for the eyes, let's go with a yellow, like an orange. Let's go to orange. And for this one, let's go with the yellow. Change it again to 90 degrees. Perfect. Let's select the other one. Eyedropper tool. Awesome. All right, now that we have everything shaded in with gradients, let's just have some fun with it. Let's let's move it a little bit so that we give it a little bit more of a character. Um, so we have our both layers here. I'm going to unlock the details. I'm going to select all of it and make sure that it's grouped. Make sure that it's one big shape. All right, zoom into its neck. I'm going to grab my white arrow. I'm going to click it and let's see what should we do with this. Um, okay, let's just move it around. Let's make it like one of those bobble heads. You know, when its head is just going back and forth. Let's let's do that. Let's make it to the right. So let's just grab one of these anchor points one at a time. I'm just going to move this up just a little bit. Well, not a little bit. I'm going to move it up a lot. All right. Now let's move this one up just a little bit more. I'm going to grab this handle here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. I'm going to grab this handle so I can make this a little bit more round. There we go. You're able to move this around. You can move these around to make it a little bit more round. So feel free to experiment with that. Let's move this one now. Let's move this one so that it looks like it's stretching. Let's keep moving. I'm going to move this one up a little bit more. Just keep messing with it. So you find something that you like. Cool. All right, now it, let's grab its head. Oh. Using our direct selection tool. Let's grab its head. Let's bring it here. Now if we just place it here, uh, nothing really, nothing happened. Here doesn't look right. So let's just rotate it. Let's rotate it just a little bit till we get the right angle that we want. Let's keep rotating to you, okay right there. I'm just going to place it right here. Awesome. Zoom out. Okay, cool. All right. I like that. I'm just going to go to layers, lock both layers and we are done. Nice job.